Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson in Michigan. As well, he ends up with a rather moronic uh, tenant who is most likely a sovereign citizen in that he uses the UCC instead of the proper laws in a landlord-tenant dispute. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's call the case of Group 5 Management versus Roderick Smith. Good morning, Your Honor. Carrie Zian and the PC7 remains here on behalf of plaintiffs standing in for Mr. Weiss. Good afternoon. How are you doing, Your Honor? What's your name, sir? What is the claim in this case? Judge, this is a non-payment of rent action with a money judgment being requested as well. I'm showing that rent is due in the amount of $1,588, court costs of $217 for a total rent retained of $1,805. And sir? Yes. How do you intend upon paying this? So, Your Honor, actually uh, tender payment to group five management on November 3rd. And uh, my former payment was refused. Was why? My former payment, she refused payment. You know, never in my life have I ever seen a landlord refuse payment before. I mean, unless the tenant was paying with some form of currency like uh, an IOU or something like that. Yeah, then of course they would refuse payment because real money is required here and not some IOU or Monopoly money or something like that. No actual paper money that is worth something to everybody. What was your form of payment? A cashier's check. I actually have the voided check here. And I'm asking for you this. You had a yes. cashier's check. Let me see. Uh, if this is also the refusal of the email from the landlord. All right. Danny, do you know anything about the refusal of payment? I do not judge. Obviously, I'm standing in for Mr. Weiss. I believe my client or the client was supposed to be on. Um, my understanding was that it wasn't a cashier's check. It was a, uh, a counter or a check. And the reason it would have been refused was because he's had more than three checks come back as insufficient funds. But I would ask if my, if my, I don't see if he's on here, Judge. From Randolph Court or Group 5 on the Zoom? We don't have anybody checked in. We don't. Uh, email. Judge. Hang on, Ms. Zane. He has an email saying about the refusal. Well, it's a, it's a text message screenshot. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's an email. I okay. screenshot it. And it says from a um, somebody with the last name of Aslam, A S L A M, indicating that they received a rent check in the sum of twelve thirty eight, which the check that he showed me was in that, in the form of an over the counter check. However, must be certified funds, and then as second page, as the system will not accept this, maybe. But yeah, just my notes on the ledger show counter check, which is a check that's not. It's one of the ones they give you from the bank, and I. So again, that's okay. the decision I was taking, anyways. That that would it was refused. So, sir, yes. Um, is there a reason why you can't get certified funds to the landlord? Uh, well, they actually accepted December's rent from the same check. Yeah. 
I bet they regret taking the check now that you've been proven to be some form of fraud. But if, well, because it, it costs. And my, my, my defense is that under Uniform Commercial Code 440.2511, Look at this young lady trying to control her laughter at this point. Because you know what, dude? She's trying to keep her herself from laughing her ass off about how stupid you are because the Uniform Commercial Code does not govern landlord-tenant disputes. Now, each state has its own set of statutes that do govern landlord-tenant disputes. So you may want to check your state, a.k.a. Michigan, for these statutes. They're quite easy to find. In fact, all you had to do was type in Michigan Landlord Tenant Statutes and you'd find it on their own website. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but uh, that's for the rest of us. For you, it's probably akin to trying to uh, get a rocket to the moon using uh, a pitchfork. By tender payment, uh, two and three, it's not applicable to this case. And it, uh, could you tell me why, Your Honor? Because the UCC doesn't apply to this circumstance. I'm sorry? The UCC doesn't apply to this circumstance. Uh, it's a commercial transaction, Your Honor. The UCC does not apply. Hmm. Okay. Is So where could I find this at that says that this isn't a commercial transaction? That would be your assertion. I'm telling you it doesn't apply to this. Uh, just under for my understanding that uh, the Uniform Commercial Code governs all commercial uh, transactions. Dude, I suggest you learn the difference between what a commercial transaction is and what real estate is all about. I mean, the laws governing them are can be a little bit different. Uh, in commerce. And so based off of this law, tender of payment is why uh, my defense is that once the, the tender payment was refused. This guy is fucking stupid. <laughs> At that time, the, the charge or the total amount and was charged. Even if you were to do that analysis, you can't then have unjust enrichment, which means that you want to move. I'm sorry? You can't have unjust enrichment, so you'd have to move. Because you can't have the apartment and not pay. No, I mean, I paid the rent. I, they took the exact form of payment in December. Sir, are you going to tender a check or no? A certified funds to them? I will tender. I will tender payment. Are you going to tender certified funds for the 1805? So, Your Honor, um, my rent is 1238. Uh, and just the extra $700, $600, I'm not sure where it's coming from. But um, if they accepted the rent payment and, and from my bank in December, I'm sure I don't know why they wouldn't accept it. Now, they refused November and then okay. they accepted December. Sir? Yes. I'm asking a very simple question. Yeah. Are you going to tender certified funds to them in the amount of eighteen oh five? I will. I will surrender. Uh, I will submit funds. Certified funds to them. I plan to. It costs me to to do certified. So I will. As the like NSF to. transactions that they've had in the past. So. That is my question to you. Are you going to submit certified funds? I'll submit certified funds. In the amount of 1805? I um, like to debate that amount because I'm not sure where that amount is coming from. My rent is 1238. In court costs, I'm not sure what other $600. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Yes. Defendant to submit 1238, which at this point is the undisputed amount in certified funds. to the landlord no later than December 29th, 2023. And then we will look at the disputed amounts. I will adjourn this matter to January 5th, 2024 at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. 
And I would just note to you, Mr. Smith, that if those funds aren't in, I'm not hearing any additional argument. I will be granting a judgment, which will be for their full amount, plus what will at that point be January's rent. Your Honor, also, uh, the fourth I have to work. So every time that I'm coming here, I'm having to take off of work. And I, sir, I cannot help that. I mean, is there a way that we can set a different date? That is my next day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Dude, sounds to me like you need to learn the differences between uh, commercial and real estate and uh, do that pretty damn fast, especially when it comes to rental agreements and landlord-tenant disputes. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, UCC does not cover any of that, so... Uh, educate yourself before you make yourself look like an even bigger fool the next time you come, al come around. Oh, boy. I showed the statutes on uh, the video earlier, so if you ever happen across this video in, in between now and then, take advantage of that. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?